Okay, so what we have here is just some foam material or just some material for our giant needle to go through. And we're going to take our needle. I have the thread through it like it's going down into the material, right? Here's the uh, front. You can see the front of the needle. Here's the back where the scarf is. So we'll hold it sideways so we can see this happen. We can see it's going to go ahead and perforate the material traveling through, right? And then we'll go ahead and lift it up and see that you can see the loop on the back side of the needle. Okay, so let's take a closer look at that so we can really see it. All right. See how the needle ascending out of the fabric creates a loop? The hook would then travel in behind the scarf to catch that loop, pulling it in a circle around our bobbin, and then the machine needle would pull back up to create a stitch. Okay. So we'll look at it uh, on, a, on a machine and see it happen on the small part of the hook in the machine. Um, but basically what you want to achieve with hook timing is that the hook tip is going in right above the eye of the needle, um, just above the eye, and depending on where it's at with the zigzag, on which direction, that hook tip needs to come in right above the eye, maybe a little bit higher on the scarf or lower if you're on the far left or far right side, depending on if it's a rotary hook or an oscillating hook that's going to depend. If you're all the way on the right side of the zigzag and you're timing an oscillating hook machine, that means that the oscillating hook is going to catch the loop lift when it's going in a clockwise motion. On the right side, it will be right above the eye of the needle. Okay. Now, on the left side with an oscillating hook machine, it's going to come in a little bit higher, okay, above the eye of the needle. In the middle, it should be right in the middle of the scarf. Okay, is where we want to see timing on those machines. If it's a rotary hook machine, like a drop-in bobbin, or the one that we're doing in this video, you're gonna time it above the eye of the needle on the left-hand side. And it will come right above the eye on the left-hand side, okay? Now these are all generalities. Service manuals are gonna be more specific and they're gonna give you uh, much more accurate measurements as far as setting the needle in center needle position and the hook tip. Usually about half a millimeter above the eye of the needle is pretty standard for most um, lock stitch machines or sewing machines when you're doing hook timing and you're timing that hook to the scarf of the needle. The other important thing is wherever the scarf is, the hook tip needs to come in just right by that scarf, almost touching it. It can't be too far away or when it comes in it's going gonna, it's gonna to actually miss the loop lift if it comes in too far away. So the hook spacing is actually really important as well. So your hook timing and then the hook spacing back and forth as far as how close to the scarf is really important as well when you're timing a hook. All right.